father worked uh, for uh, for Shepherd right through until I guess it would have been probably about 1958-59. I myself went to work for Shepherd and, uh, in 1948 having um, gained some insight into the, uh, the boat building world from my father and from an older brother. And uh, other than uh, some, uh, some uh, private work that uh, I had done, uh, my uh, employment experience uh, consisted of uh, the conversion in Toronto uh, at the time of one of the uh, World War II fair miles, which was a 112-foot uh, wooden vessel used for uh, anti-submarine patrol. And that was converted to a, a pleasure yacht. Um, and as I say, following that, uh, uh, I did stay in Toronto for a while, but uh, I had uh, spoken with Lloyd Shepard and uh, decided to uh, come back to Niagara on the lake, having come here originally in 1941 and then I, of course, been away during the, uh, the war years. And uh, I remained with him throughout the time that he had the business. Uh, he did sell uh, in 1948 to uh, Chap from St. Catharines by the name of Jimmy Hahn and uh, it was at that stage that, uh, that I left uh, Shepherds. But coming up to, to 69, I was beginning to find that it was very difficult to uh, uh, to gain sufficient financing through the banks to do all the work that we had on hand. And uh, the end result of that was that uh, we took four companies and we amalgamated them. Uh, into a corporation known as CNC Yachts. Those four companies being first our own business here in Niagara Lake, Interhover Limited, uh, a company in marine manufacturing in, in Bronte known as Brooklyn Manufacturing, another one in Belleville known as Belleville Marine Yards, and then a design firm from Port Credit known as Cuthbertson and Cassia. And uh, those four entities uh, made up uh, CNC Yachts. <laughs> 